Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 49, and we're continuing our playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords, a Star Wars game. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I just... I, I keep forgetting that my little note for the intro still says Illusion of Gaia. That, that's so last season. We're, we're, what, eight, nine weeks into this? I, I gotta fix that. <laughs> okay, so... Last week, we ended up uh, in in this little Isle of Flop Houses, and we, we kind of took care of a couple of quests. We, we got, we didn't intend to get here, but we got here, and there's a couple of doors that have been left unlocked, and a few other things that I do, I do want to explore. So let, let's, uh, let's backtrack a little bit. Let's double check what we have and haven't explored, and then uh, and then go from there. Like we got this spot here, with a door that appears to be uh, magnetically sealed. It's locked from the inside, and we don't see any means of opening it. Well, we'll probably end up back at that at some point in the very very near future. We've got this guy who is looking for his wife. We'll uh, get to that when we move on to a different portion of Narshada. We've got an empty backpack from uh, this guy that we helped out the last time. An Ethelorian. Or is that this one? Either way. Um, occupants are gone, so we got these houses taken care of. We got this guy who disappeared mysteriously. Something about a... A signal... That appears to have... Uh, I don't know. Nobody knows. And, uh, I don't remember what was up with this one, but, um, I did not loot it, so let's go ahead and do that now. And what do we get? Hey, Strength Enhancer and 105 credits. Yes, please. Matter of fact, while I'm at that, what belt do I have right now? I got the Utility Belt. No, I got the Safety Harness. Demolitions plus one, or Strength plus one, and Fortitude plus one. Uh, or a plus two to a whole bunch of skills. I really ought to do the, the, let, let me double check real quick. All right, so with the strength at 16, a strength plus one isn't going to help, but bumping up my fortitude to 15 might help. Um, ooh, and I should probably level up. That I may do, yeah, I'll do that in a little bit. I won't do that right away, but I will do that very shortly. So, as much as, um, as much as I want the plus one in fort and a bump to strength, I'll, uh, I'll be equipping the utility belt. Is there somebody else I could use that strength boost, though? Uh, defense and dex for the handmaiden. What is, all right, her strength is 14. Oh, no, she's totally up on dex-based attacks. If I remember right, she's got Weapons Finesse? Yes? No? No. Oh, I might have to fix that. Yeah. Uh, next feat she gets might have to be Weapons Finesse because she is uh, s super high on the decks and, uh, and, and not so much on the strength. Um... What about my minion here, Beodor? Oh no, he's got the stealth field generator. Matter of fact, let me put him in the lead because I want to say that there was... A, yeah, these guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to park my party down the hall and I seem to have it on good authority that if I go to solo mode and I drop into stealth and sneak up on these guys. I should be able to hear a very useful conversation. Oh wait, no, that's the Lunar Shadow Crewman. I gotta to talk to them in a little bit. Who was it that had the conversation I needed to hear? Is it these guys? No, those guys are coming later. Um. I don't think it was behind that door. The, these guys. Yep. 
There's got to be way into Vaga's chambers. Vogo's chambers. Vogo will decorate his chambers with our skin if he catches us. No one's going to break open Vogo's treasure chamber. You have to get by his cath hounds, his guards, him, then break the lock. It's not going to happen. If you can even get admitted to see him, which is not possible. I think I know how it's possible. Cath hounds can be put to sleep and so can Voga. If you can get past the guards, it's just you and the lock. Simple. So how would you put them to sleep? The cath hounds, Juma Juice from the cantina, will put them out in seconds. As for Voga, you need a hub of it. Too bad he fed that one dancer to the cath hounds. Dancing always used to tire him out. Oh, really? How can anyone get tired watching dancing? This Voga, just the effort of following a dancer with his eyes is more exertion than he's used to. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, so now I got the valuable information I need to go do some other stuff. While I'm here, and I know his security skill's pretty high, let's go ahead and... What's behind this door? Anything? Uh, ooh, a metal box. And inside that box... Um, 93 bucks. I'll take it. That could come in handy later. Alright, so far so good. There's gotta be something else in there. I'd still like to know how to, uh... I'd still like to know how to unlock that door. I didn't... Ah, uh, I'll get to that. Alright. So that takes care of just about everything in this hallway. There's that other one that we haven't explored, because if we go back to the map... Yeah, there's that hallway just north of us, and that looks like a giant U-shape that might help us with a few things. Uh, and I need a workbench. That's what I forgot to check. Did Wasn't there a workbench in... Uh, in the shop back here? Where we left the guy searching for the signal? Try telling me that you can't stop the signal now? Oh wait, no. Wrong franchise. Um, Alright, no. There isn't one there. I... Thank you. As long as somebody gets it, right? <laughs> Alright, I have got to find a workbench, so keep an eye out for one. In the meantime... Let's uh, let's see what's behind the low security door. I mean, obviously they don't care too much about it, right? And in here we've got an advanced repair kit, some credits. Okay. Uh, we've got a hallway, and I suspect this loops around. Yep. Okay. So this is going to loop back around to this side, where we can. Pick the door from the other side? Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember what their deal was. Alright, we'll get back to them in a minute. Let's finish this hallway. Anything? Hello? It's your friendly neighborhood looter. Ooh, a box. And in this box, we've got 87 bucks. Look, I'll take all the credits I can get. All the credits fit to donate. Um, are you actually going to say something? Nope, the droid is busy and ignores you. Ah. I guess he'll keep ignoring me if I do this, right? An Arcanian energy shield. Oh, yeah. I'm probably going to need a few more of those before Narshida's out. Energy shields seem to come quite in handy. Alright, what about you? What you got? Some sonic grenades. Uh, I always wanted some more parts. <laughs> the droid is busy and ignores you. Alright. So I need to find a workbench because, if you remember, one of the things that we're looking to do is... 
head back into the cantina down that way. Except there, there's a, a poisonous atmosphere in that cantina, and until we get uh, until we get the right the right gear, that's not really an option. So what I may have to do is I may have to go back and backtrack a little bit. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. So there's the warehouse. There's some of the other stuff. There's the people who told me. Uh, Pulled me off, pretty much. All right. We now know we need to get back to the cantina to go pick up some Juma Juice for the hounds. We're, we're going to go get some dogs drunk. That that doesn't seem to fit with the, the, the channel, but okay. Um, do you have anything you for You're interrupting me for a reason? I have a lot of work to do, to manage here, right? So, what is it? Um, never mind. Nothing new here yet. Although I have a funny feeling we'll be back to him later. Let's, uh, let's head back out this way then. We didn't exit this way the last time because, uh, that's, that's a long way down. Uh, <laughs> No workbench? No workbench. Alright, because we weren't sure if we needed to get to the refugee landing pad. That's one of the areas between where we were and where we didn't intend to go. And we're going to want to go there anyway for a variety of reasons. So... Oop. I went the wrong way through the airlock, didn't I? Yep. I'm supposed to go forward. I know, I know. Y you guys want me to level them up. I I'll get to that. Ugh, oh, the stink here in the refugee sector is worse than the rest of Narshala. Have I really been pronouncing it that wrong this whole time? Oh, hey, okay. I've already been through here. Oh, this means I know where I can get a workbench. Uh, let me double check my map. I need to go... Is it the Swoop Gallery? No, Tub Shop. Okay. So that's going to be south-west-ish. Forgot to do the shopping, too. So much stuff that I, I kind of forgot about. Short-term memory something or other. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is uh, he gave me permission to use... His workbench. I am going to switch over to this guy. Because he is the man with the skills. And... I almost wonder if I shouldn't uh, leave the utility belt open for him when he does his crafting stuff. Hmm... Ooh, yeah. Nah. It'll be alright. Alright, so I'm going to put him in solo. Uh, let's see if... Alright. Let, let me tell you my holdup. Because he is in the lead, I should be using his skills and not my main character's skills. So, like, my main character's computer use is 15. Uh, his is 14. So, for any crafting stuff that requires computer use, I really ought to use my own guy. Although, that might be because of the belt. You know what? Let, let's go ahead and do that. Let's, uh, let's switch that over to the strength harness. Let's switch that over to the utility belt. And let's take a look at those skills again. Uh... 14, 15, no, nope. okay. But I think the big one I need is repair. See, his repair is 14 minus 15. Oh, my total is 21. His total is 19. Um, no. 21. 
Yeah, okay. So my total skill for repair is 3. His total skill for repair is 21. I was looking at the wrong lines. And I really would look much rather use his repair skill than mine. So let's see about using the workbench to create or break down items. Let's view the breakdown. I want to keep one of the plasma torches around. Um, never mind. I'll have to break this down later. What I want to do is I want to make a miscella miscellaneous? Or is it usable? Oh, view all creatable items. How about that? Um, does that count as armor? I don't remember where I saw that. No, not ranged. Definitely not melee or lightsaber. Beauty part spikes. Oh. Oh, I'm at the wrong table. I don't need the crafting table. Uh, I need one of the, um, the bio benches. All right, well, the ship should be around here, right? Except I don't know that I can use him on the ship. Oh, that does make life interesting now, doesn't it? All right, I guess I'll have to return back to this one a little bit later then. Um, no bother. All right, let's see if we can get back to the bar. And we should also be able to head back into the cantina. Uh, which way was the the entertainment district? No, that's the refugee sector, which I do need to get to. Uh, to the entertainment promenade. All right, so that's going to be that way. Can't help but feel like there was somebody else I was supposed to be talking to while I was over here. Or maybe it was over in the refugee sector. All right, let's try to make our way into the entertainment promenade. And uh, go from there. Yep, yep, yep. I know, I know. Let's finish up around the bar that we left a little sooner <laughs> than intended, right? And this guy should have the Juma Juice for Back us. Again, I see. How can I help you this time? <laughs> Actually, I'm looking for enough Juma Juice to make some Cath Hounds take a nap. That's so? Well, you're in luck. I got plenty of it. Costs you a hundred credits for a flask big enough for what you need, no more. You know, I just noticed that the bartender has a faintly Scottish accent. All right, um, fair enough. Uh, I'm tempted to do the Force Persuade, but the way that's worded makes me think that that's probably not going to help me. Uh, a man who makes that kind of offer is asking to die sounds an awful lot like a threat. Um, let's say 100 credits is a lot for a flask. How about another offer? All right. Guess you weren't as desperate as I thought. Fifty credits, no more. Alright, that's more like it, because I'm not gonna I'm not I'm still not gonna do the force persuade. Here's the flask. Aged to perfection. <laughs> just what you need. Alrighty. I mean, technically we found what, two hundred and some odd uh credits just in the boxes around the area, so <laughs> what does this patron have to say? Smooth skins shouldn't walk free. Okay. Nice of you to say that. Keep walking. You're looking for trouble. Um. Oh. <laughs> the thug just passed out in the corner. Well, okay then. Let's work our way around. Hey, we got some more thugs. Shh. Someone approaches. Too many ears. No room at the table, human. Get away. I wonder if we need to sneak up on these guys, too. Is it too late for that? Private conversation, not for your ears. Alright. I, I know how to handle private conversations. Uh, th this is my group staying over here. Uh, 
let me put the stealth field generator back on. Okay, and we go solo like a so. And stealth like a so. And we very slowly walk up around these guys. Volga the Hunt makes big trouble for us all. It is exchange boss Goto who makes the big trouble for Volga, who get mad, then make big trouble for us all. Long chain. <coughs> Volga not even see visitors now. Not unless they come to talk to him about Goto, he not let him in. It's all he sees. Thoughts of Goto consume Voga like big and dark. Voga be a big meal, even for and dark. Um, is that a... Is that a fat joke? I think that was a fat joke. Alright. I can't. I can't take how slowly that takes to walk. Come on, guys. Let's all gather the party back. Let's get the band back together. And... Uh, <laughs> who let the likes of you in here? Thanks. Appreciate it. Hu humans taste like... Uh, never mind. Space off. Well, okay then. I, I can tell you're a lovely bunch. Lovely bunch. Alright, um, I haven't done anything to change my standing with the exchange, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk to the little guy in the corner here. Uh, I think by the time I get done with, um, the north side there, I, I might have, uh, I might have enough. But, before, no. password? Force persuade. I can go in. No, let, we got the password from the little guy. A lovely bag of. Co oh yeah, yeah. Oh seriously, did I just walk through a closed door? I didn't know I had that skill. Ah, the Pazak Den. Is this yet another wretched hive of scum and villainy or something? I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Which, if you're watching the live stream, is going to be in a couple of minutes. I'm going to grab a cup of coffee. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube later, you'll see it tomorrow. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.